empowered by true holiness. The body of Christ is not walking in its true potential power. We're not walking in our true power that was ordained before the foundations of the earth. There's a lot of focus, Brett, on, on gifts. Gifts. I'm gifted, I'm gifted, I'm gifted. And gifts are good. Gifts are from God. But why is it that giftings are not producing as much as we think they should? If really being gifted was all it took for you to, to make it, uh, it means everyone should be making it by now because giftings are from God. Everyone has a God-given gift that you are born with. And the Lord answered me and he said, most giftings are useless giftings because they don't have an anointing behind them. You need an anointing behind the gift. I wish somebody had me this morning. You need an anointing behind that gift. You can have a gift of writing. But if you are not anointed, you write ordinary books. You can have a gift of singing. But if you are not anointed, they will just be songs. They won't impact the world. True impact is because of a power behind your gifting. And anointing cannot come without holiness. You can never have true impact without holiness. The best way to be average is to be unholy. If you want an average life, be unholy. If you want to be an ordinary person, be unholy. But if it is impact you want, generational impact, real results, fight for holiness. The holiness battle is a generational battle. The holiness battle is a destiny battle. Unholiness is there to thwart your destiny. So the devil uses sin to defile us. When we are defiled, then we are disempowered. Then the Bible is just a book. Whatever it is that you are doing, be it a career, be it ministry, be it business, be it politics, whatever it is that you are doing, if you are not holy, get ready for no impact because God is not involved. Sin is the best way to remove the involvement of God in your life. If you want God out of the equation, just sin. So in other words, to sin is to tell God, I don't need you. I've got this. If you sin, you soon lose God. A man with no self-control, Proverbs 25, is like a city without walls. Whoever has no rule over his own spirit, no self-control, is like a broken down city without walls is it not easy for thieves to access that house so when you have no self-control you are like a house without a juror wall. thieves can enter anytime what is that saying self-control is a spiritual defense mechanism the devil approached job in fact god said to the devil have you considered job he says god why are you playing games i'm paraphrasing he's saying I tried, but there's a hedge round about him. Now we understand why. Because Job was holy. So there's a hedge of protection round about him. So he was not like a seat, a man who has no self-control, who's like a city without walls. That means that there were walls of fire round about Job. Am I right? Am I right? So when you sin, you lose those walls of fire. Watch this. The Lord said to me, if you are in sin, you are bewitchable. And that's my scripture reference. There's no protection. If you are in sin, you are bewitchable. The only time David ever really lost a battle 
was when he was in sin. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. So he lost the defense of God. <laughs> the same David, you know how David defeated Goliath? Let me teach you something. David defeated Goliath on the premise of the sin of Goliath. You don't read your Bible. Hans and David, he looked at Goliath and says, ah, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? What is to be uncircumcised is to be unclean. So David defeated Goliath on the basis of Goliath's uncleanliness. Okay, that's a giant. I'll show you other giants that were defeatable because of uncleanliness. Remember the spies sent him, sent him to the city. Hello? Some came back with the report they are stronger than us and so on. But the, there are two, huh? Joshua and Caleb. What did they come back and say? They said, no, we can overcome them. Listen to the reason they gave. And their defense has been taken from them. What takes away your defense from you is Trina. Trina. Impurity and holiness removes God's defense. You can be robbed. You can be bewitched. What is to be holy? To be holy is to be like God. So when I walk in holiness, I'm walking in the God class. And I have the wisdom of the gods when I'm holy. I have the power of the gods when I'm holy. I work miracles like God when I'm holy. I do miracle transactions like God when I'm holy. Be serious about Jesus. Stop playing games with Jesus. He wants to empower you, but you're stopping him. He wants to empower you, but you are stopping him. He wants to accelerate you, but you are delaying him. He wants to raise you, but you are stopping him from raising you. Holiness has power to lift you. We are going to be anointed. I said we are going to be anointed. I said we are going to be anointed. Psalm 89 verse 20 to 23. God says I have found David my servant. And with my holy oil. I have anointed him. I, uh, may God locate you as his servant. And may he anoint you because of holiness gift. May he anoint you because of holiness. May he anoint you because of purity. Purity gives birth to plenty. Purity gives birth to power. Purity gives birth to the supernatural. I don't know about you, but I want a life that is supernatural. An unexplainable life. Hallelujah. Unexplainable yet undeniable. Walking in absolute purity before God. Hallelujah. In this perverse generation, it's a very perverse generation this. So the devil's job is to push us towards sin. The Lord is saying sin makes the devil's job easier. There is a life of divine sacrifice of alignment that is required aligning yourself with the principles of jehovah for he alone is worthy he is the ultimate power that empowers he is the alpha and the omega there's nothing difficult for him just line up your life and be holy make up your mind be determined to be holy. Be determined to walk like Jesus on planet earth. There's no miracle he could not do, be it physical or economic. There's no power that he could not exhibit. Acts 10 38. How God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. Acts 10 38. Who went about doing good, healing all who were oppressed by the devil. So when you are holy like Jesus, you go about doing good. But you need the anointing to do good. And you need holiness to get that anointing. Any anointing without holiness is not from God. A real God ordained anointing. Not this pastor sleeping with half the church. Those are not men of God. They are men. They read the Bible. But they are not men of God. church. Like many false prophets' churches, the pastor has finished with the choir. People doing nonsense holding a microphone. 
leading people to hell. The devil is alive. God punished the devil. Hey! Any man of God who's like a prowler, hunting members to lay with them, God punished the devil. This thing is serious. Men of God, we should be above reproach. Should be an example. An example of purity. An example of holiness. An example of self-control. We're not saying you're not going to be tempted. Of course you're going to be tempted. Of course you've got a sexual drive. But that's not an excuse. Hey, your sexual drive must drive you home. You didn't get it. I said your sexual drive must drive you home. You get home, you say, as my, please, it's urgent. Come now. Because the devil is messing the body of Christ. Now the body of Christ looks like a toothless dog. No power. Because there's no purity. There are churches that have never had a miracle. Never. Big churches, beautiful churches, no miracles. When you talk to the pastor, he just recommends medication and one doctor somewhere. Psalm 45 verse 7. You love righteousness. I'm talking about you. I'm speaking to your destiny. You love righteousness for right and hate wickedness. See that young secretary with curves seducing you. See her as Lucifer in his kit. You love righteousness. You hate wickedness. Therefore, because of that, your God has anointed you above other fellows. I don't know about you. I don't want to be average. I don't want to be like the man of God next door. I want to be above. Uh, that's why the Bible wrote 10 times better. I know I'm 10 times better than many pastors. Because I set a standard, Rumi. I don't pursue young girls. I don't drink in my study. Hey. It is what you do behind closed doors that tells heaven who you really are. Yes, you can have things that you are saying, God, I need you to kill this thing. But at least be willing to kill it. Not, uh, no, uh, it's just shaita. Shaita rini! You are costing the kingdom and robbing the kingdom of great things. That God-given gift is for the advancement of the kingdom. You have a gifting of business. That business is supposed to advance the kingdom. Now you are using that gifting to get women. The devil is a liar. I said, that devil is a liar. You are changing. I'm talking about you. I said, you are changing by force. I said, you'll be an example. I said, you'll be an example in this perverse generation. You will not do what others do. Because you can't change them if you are like them. You can't beat them if you are like them. You can't be above them if you are like them. Be different. You are a child of the living God. And because you have made up your mind to be different, God is is going to anoint you hallelujah i said god is going to anoint you and like he said of jesus this is my son in whom i'm well pleased hallelujah oh may that be your testimony may heaven testify that this is my son this is my daughter in whom i'm well pleased why am i pleased because they passed the test of holiness every test of holiness may you pass it when temptation comes may you be strengthened and may you pass and after you are tested then you are trusted with a new anointing hey, God is waiting to entrust new dimensions of the anointing but may you pass the test I said may you pass the test I said may you pass the test your flesh will be saying yes but you tell your flesh shut up I bring my body under subjection like Paul said I must tell my body what to do and it the devil is a liar. I refuse to lose my hair on the lap of Delilah. Jehovah God, grant me the grace because I want another dimension of the holy anointing of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, help me to walk worthy of the calling upon my life. Uh, 
I don't want after preaching unto others I myself become a castaway I refuse I refuse to send people church members to heaven and I am the man of God find my way to hell the devil is a liar he's an oxymoron hallelujah man of God hear me clearly be an example hallelujah be an example in word be an example in purity be an example in holiness do the right thing and God will take you to the right address living in the wrong address as you do the right thing my God is telling me he will give you your right level hallelujah it might be hard but do the right thing it might be unpopular but do the right thing your flesh might fight you but do the right thing I don't know about you but it's a season to be absolutely holy absolute holy I'm raising champions I don't care what people think about this message I'm raising champions I, I might have some haters but I'm raising champions who is a champion? a champion is a holy believer tempted but he says no I can't do this how can I sin against God I can't do this to myself and my destiny I can't embarrass my whole family and my children for 20 minutes of pleasure a devil is a liar. I will not be involved in crooked deals. I will not be involved in unholy dealings. Jehovah God, I know you can bless me if I do the right thing. It might come later, but it's better to wait than to get rich quicker. At the expense of my integrity. Surrender today. Today. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent for your new level is at hand. Repent. It's a season of prosperity. Repent. It's a season of elevation. Repent. It's a season that you don't want to miss. Oh, listen to me. This is a crucial season in the grand scheme of things. When you talk about your destiny, don't miss this and go around the mountain again. I refuse to miss my season again. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to raise millionaires. As I'm telling you for the advancement of the kingdom you are about to go to heights that you've never ever reached by the grace of God the devil might fight me but I'll still be holy the devil might send people to me but I'll still be holy the devil might tempt me but I'll still be holy the devil might smear campaign me but I'll still be holy the Bible says in all this Job refused to sin against God his wife said curse God and die he says I can't try that why are you talking like foolish people I am one of the wise and the wise man knows that he has to fear God God. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the Lord said to me, please be seated. He said, son, you need to understand something. When I called you, please pay attention if you're a destiny person. When I called you out of darkness as a child of God into the kingdom of his dear son, out of darkness into the marvelous light when he called us from our dead works he was calling us into his kingdom watch this so that we are people who take over territories and put Jehovah Nisi the banner of the Lord for the advancement of the kingdom and the growth of God's kingdom he said this issue here of you walking upright really has to do with territories I said Lord you need to explain this thing he said no look you need to understand that listen to this when you are still operating in sin, are you hearing me? It means that, remember I said you are bewitchable. Do you remember me saying that? Okay, so in other words, you'll be fighting with small, small demons. Recycling small, small demons because of sin. So the devil wants you to remain in that realm where you are fighting small, small demons, right? Because he doesn't want you to graduate to a level where you are now dealing with principalities and powers, regional spirits. When you now start dealing with regional spirits, what are you doing? You have, been gradu you have graduated to a realm where God now wants you to take over territories. So as long as you are still dealing with witchcraft, it means on some level there is some sin and some iniquity in your life. 
Because uro you will not chaka cheku batirira. So witches are small boys in the kingdom of darkness. They are foot soldiers. So if you are still fighting with the foot soldiers, how are you going to deal with the prince of Harare? How are you going to deal with the prince of Zimbabwe? How are you going to deal with the prince of Africa? So we have been kept on lowly levels by sin, fighting small, small witches. Daniel, he and the other Hebrew boys, they became territorial powers. They were ten times better than everyone. And to show you the level of spiritual warfare that Daniel was doing, Daniel was not fighting witches. No. He was fighting principalities. Why? Because he was holy. So you can't even try those battles if you are not holy. That means if I can't conquer the prince of Harare, I can't have the market share in Harare. I'll just be a small boy looking for small breakthroughs. This is deep. I don't know if anyone got it. But if you got it, you got it. You know you need to graduate from sin. You need to graduate from dealing with family demons. You have not started. Father, burn the sin that gives Bavankuru Anoroya Mumuri power to fight me. I want to graduate above dealing with my Nababankuru Anatete. I want to graduate beyond that. I want to now start dealing with the satanic powers on the wisdom tables. I want to start negotiating territorial deals where we are saying in our industry, we are going to take over Manikaland and we are going to build the new Manikaland. Are you hearing me? Then now we are challenging the prince of Manikaland and saying give us our portion. We are going to take over Mutare. Not Kurisana Tete. We need to graduate children of God. Graduate, graduate, stop fighting chicken battles when you have an ego destiny. Graduate, graduate, graduate. It is chickens that eat matodo. Graduate to be an eagle. An eagle will come right from the top and go and find a fish right in the sea. Hallelujah. An eagle eats clean things. Why are you eating dirty things? You are eating like a chicken. Hallelujah. I'm tired of people just recycling demons. We need to graduate. Hallelujah. Why is your boss still your prayer point? You are still dealing with witches. You need to rise to another level. We are saying, no, witches have got no hold over me because I'm walking in holiness. Therefore, the battles I will fight are territorial battles. When I win a battle, it must equal to territorial spoils, not a breakthrough. Territorial spoils, hallelujah. Oh, la satabahaya. The month of October is a month where, where the Lord told me, I'm only understanding it now. He said, It's a month I want you to start taking over territories, hallelujah. But it starts by a proper clean up. I want you to graduate from being a Samson to being a Joseph, hallelujah. You can't conquer the ones who are controlled controlling your industry if you are still working in unholiness because it means you are like them hallelujah as a child of God you've got to be different you've got to be more empowered in the name of Jesus say Lord I belong to you I'm ready for supernatural achievements by holiness second Chronicles 7 verse 14 if my people who are called by my name children of God, Christians humble themselves and pray seek my face but here's the mis missing part of the equation turn from their wicked ways then I will come down from heaven and I will heal their land restoration so the missing part of the equation of restoration was turn from wicked ways. The effectual, James 5, verse 16 to 18, fervent prayer of who? A righteous man. Not the fervent prayer of a Pentecostal. You've done enough fervent prayers.
if Americans see you praying online, they might be tempted to make you their pastor. Fervent. Munwe Blake. There's no race that can pray like an African. Akuna riti ba riti mulumtema ano namata. Mukampa microphone akati ba ba kumzora kunenga. Hey. Apart pagadi bezivi. Next era Jesus Christu. Pindirai baba pindirai. Jehovah is waiting for holiness. He's just standing. Jehovah kumzora kunenga. That's why he has to shout. Jehovah bat time bat rainu apana cha wari kubata ne kuti chiri kubata bata dzikai baba dzikai has kudzika ba kusika wachinja disimudzei baba havas kusumudza chinhu kusika wamira Rubitzwai baba rubitzwai He's just looking Kana dziri ndimi Kale bakadi ya bat la bakadi bosa la ba lote bakadi ya bakadi la bakadi la No results Just find one white man from Australia there He's not doing all this nonsense Pray very soft Father God you are holy i worship you in your holiness and in your beauty lord i thank you for your goodness i thank you that you have empowered me by your grace very soft i thank you lord for the finished work of jesus christ oh lord because of my sacrifices on your altar and my giving and my supporting the work of god i thank you father that you are faithful and that you honor your word in the name of Jesus. Varunga vaita ma all night esa muneta. White people are powerful in obedience and that's the truth. Black people mostly were rebellious but very prayerful. Let's measure with results. Varunga tema let's clean up. Ah, I want to know. Van Vatema, let's clean up. Imbo Mira Kunyepa, Imbo Mira Kunyepa. Look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, Mira Kunyepa. Look at your other neighbor and say, Mira Kuvenga, Van Vatema to no Venga, to no Maka and Magas, Varusumu to an Amari. Say, answered prayer. And say, answered prayer. I want to show you a scripture that will shock you. Are you interested? 1 John 3 verse 22. Powerful scripture. <laughs> and whatever we ask, we receive from him. How many would like that? Say, I want answered prayers. Say it again. Say, I want answered prayers. Look at me. Look at me. You can ask him for a Volvo. He can give you. You can ask him for a Range Rover. He can give you. You can ask him for a brand new Mercedes. He can give you. You are quiet because you don't think it's possible. I work in the Bible. Ask and you shall. Whatever we ask, we receive from Him. Give me the next word. What's the next word? Because what does that word mean? He's about to give us the reasons why He answers or gives us anything we ask for. Because we keep His commandments, not because we argue with the Scriptures. And do those things that are pleasing in His sight, not in the sight of friends. Not, not those things that are pleasing on TikTok. The things that are pleasing in the sight of God. So when I do what pleases God, he answers my prayers. So your prayers are not answered based on your volume of praying. They are answered based on your frequency of obedience. Next verse. And this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son Jesus and love one another. He's talking about answered prayers. If you don't love people, no answered prayers. And love one another as he gave us his commandments. Next verse. Now, 
He who keeps his commandments and dwells in them, and he in him. So, so God does not dwell with people who don't obey him. Even if they say, Holy Spirit, come in me. Before he comes to live in you, he checks your obedience. And by this we know that he abides in us by the spirit who he has given us. So, we are going to pray today. Number one, to ask God to fully forgive us. Number two, we are going to pray for the Holy Spirit to fill us afresh. Anointing out of Tanga Maj. Do you know what your silence is telling me? You have not decided whether you are, you are going to let go some things. If you have decided to let go some things, stand up on your feet. Because we are going to pray today. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, today is the day results begin in your life with a quality decision. God wants to anoint you, but he needs you to clean up your whole life. And cleaning up starts with repentance. And repentance is starting now. Raise your hands to heaven. Say, Father, today I come before you before your throne of grace begging you for mercy father i thank you for this platform where i can come before you and ask you to forgive me for any and all sin in my life in this season i'm cleaning up there is no sin in my life that i am not repenting of i repent of everything that i've ever done in my entire life that where i have wronged you father god i beg you for forgiveness i beg you for your mercy my father my god take this sin away from me father today i ask you to break the power of that sin i do not want to go back to vomit like a dog i don't want to go back to a sinful life my father my god i want to walk holy in this perverse generation i want to be different so i can make a difference so my father my god remove sin from my life like job said i'll put iniquity far from my tent today i have made the quality decision to put iniquity far from my house I want the empowerment of the Holy Spirit that comes with holiness. I have made a quality decision to do the right thing, to walk away from any sin in my life. From today, I am born again. I am a child of God. I receive the life of God inside me. Now, Holy Spirit, I ask you as I pray in tongues for the next few minutes to burn every evil desire for sin that is inside me. Burn it, Holy Spirit. Uproot it and burn it. Raise your hands and begin to pray. One minute. One minute. Just pray. He's burning that evil desire on the inside of you oh kabaza to bashaza tala bahaya ye kete bako shaza to la bahaya ala de bakida de beze tala bahaya i burn every evil desire i burn it lord i burn it i burn it i burn it ma tamaka tilere boza tilere bahaya oh kabata la baka tala bahaya i'm not toying with sin anymore i'm burning that evil desire i'm burning I'm burning evil lusts. I'm burning cravings that do not please God. I'm burning them by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, help me. I want to be above reproach. Holy Ghost, help me. Help me, Holy Spirit. 
Manda Mazato Bahaya Agaba Debeze Tabaja Talabahaya. I want to please my God. I want to please him. Ye Kede Bakatalabahaya. I refuse to please my boyfriend. I refuse to please my girlfriend at the expense of my relationship with God. What I need is you, Lord. My desire is to be close to you. I want to be close to you. Anything that pushes you away from me or pushes me away from you, I don't want it anymore. Remove unforgiveness. Remove malice. Remove hatred. Remove lying. Remove addictions. Remove them from my life. I'm making a quality decision today. I want to be a true child of God. Ah, Kabazato Bahaya.